Hi, welcome to this week's Midweek Connection. My name is Todd Jordan. I serve as senior pastor here at Strawbridge United Methodist Church. This month, during the month of October, we are taking a look at um, what we're wanting to commit to for 24 in order to fund our ministries and our missions for, for next year. And as we prepare to make a commitment toward that later on this month, I've asked some church members to just um, help us celebrate who we are as Strawbridge by sharing with us um, a little bit of what they think of uh, when they think of Strawbridge and um, some of the ways that they participate in the ministries here at Strawbridge. So I hope you'll enjoy. I'm Adam Brown. And I'm Rachel Brown. And this is Caroline. And this is Elliot. And we've been coming to Strawbridge for about four years now. When you think of Strawbridge United Methodist Church, what are some of the things you think of? Um, well, so, family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, where our best friends are. Um, we got connected with uh, Family F uh, Finding Faith Sunday School class. And um, yeah, in the last four years, it's just been kind of amazing how um, you know many people came to Caroline's baptism, who came when she, we, she was born, who brought us food. So yeah, it's been a really amazing community that we found at this church. What were some of the uh, um, initial senses you got from the church that made you want to join here? Yeah, the story on that is that we went to St. Paul's down in the museum district for a while. And even after we moved to Kingwood, we kept going there, but it was just far. And we realized that we needed to find a church in this area, but we weren't really sure if we would find a good fit. So I kind of made a short list of churches that I thought might be a good fit. We went to one, it was okay. We went to Strawbridge and met a lot of people and uh, went to Sunday school and really, really enjoyed it. And so on that third week, I was like going down my list and I said, well, do you want to go to this third church? And do you remember what you said? No. Oh, she said, she said <laughs> I, I think I want to go back to Strawbridge. And I said, I, I think I do too. And so we just kept going to Strawbridge and about a month later we joined. Last year, uh, Elliot and I did uh, Rise Against Hunger. He uh, really embraced his role as counter, was there with his clipboard, taking it very seriously. Um, we also, uh, I volunteered and he went to VBS, so we had a really great time uh, doing that. I think he ran and hugged me between every single class, so that was, uh, mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun. And Rach, you uh, volunteer some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on with the kids sometimes. What do you like about Strawbridge? Food. Food. <laughs> yeah. Just really grateful for Strawbridge. We didn't we didn't know if we'd be able to find a church in Kingwood that aligned with all our values and was as good of a fit as Strawbridge is and had the community community feel um, and was affirming. That was important to us as well. So, but I mean, we're just incredibly grateful for Strawbridge. Yeah. I mentioned Caroline's baptism, so she was baptized in August uh, last year, so a, a month before the vote, and we kind of, you know, there was sort of an element of uncertainty about it, and we were kind of back and forth, like, well, you know, should we do that? And it, it we did, we wanted to, because this was where our, all of our friends were, and we were just really impressed by the church, and so, you know, either way the vote went, we, that's where we wanted to have her baptized, and so we're so glad we did. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you. 